Welcome to Having the Fly. I'm your host, Carson Angeli. A great fly pattern that's been working for me lately is the Frenchie. So stay tuned and let's tie the Frenchie together. Today, I will teach you how to tie the Frenchie. Make sure you watch the whole video because at the end, I'm going to share some tips on how to fish this pattern. This is the Frenchie that we're going to be tying today. We're going to be using a size 16 Umqua Specialty Jig Hook. Then, we're going to be using a slotted Tungsta Bead size 1 8 and the color is silver. For thread, we're going to be using a 10 knot Vivas D23, color of fluorescent orange. We're going to be using Ultrawire X Small Copper for the ribbing of the fly. We're going to be using Whiting's Cup de Leon. Oh, Cup de Leon is a very beautiful rooster that originated from northern Spain. They would get the patches from the side of their shoulder, and that's what makes a really good tail for this fly. We're going to be using the pheasant tail to make the body of the fly. We're going to start off making our Frenchie by making a couple wraps right behind the bead. Then we're going to cut off the tag end from our thread. Then we're going to make a couple extra wraps to secure my thread to not unwind. To rip off a feather from the Cup de Leon patch, you simply pull the opposite way where the feather is toward. So, pulling the opposite way, and there we go. This is your feather from your Cup de Leon patch. We're going to be using this part of the feather because it's very durable and very realistic when it goes in the water. To cut off the fibers from the Cup de Leon, you only need a little pinch of the fibers of what you're going to be using. Then, you'll simply Cut your cup de leon fibers right next to the main stem of your feather. So what we're going to do, when you get your cup de leon fibers, we are going to measure a tail by the length of the hook. So like about right there. Then we're going to put our fibers over the hook. Then we're going to make wraps over the hook to tie down those cup de leon fibers. Cut off the excess fibers from the cup de leon. Then what we're going to do, we're going to start making our body by holding the cup de leon fibers back nice and straight on top of the hook and then we're going to Start making wraps all the way down to the bend of the hook. So we're going to wrap all the way to about right there. So you have a nice, really fragile tail and a realistic tail. Now what we're going to do, we're going to start making the body by just a couple strands from your pheasant tail. To make the body, we at least need five fibers for this fly. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to be making the body of the fly by measuring the length of the pheasant tail fibers with the hook. So you want about that much. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put those fibers on top of the hook and we're going to secure the fibers on the hook with just a couple wraps with your thread. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to start making some tight wraps to ensure that those fibers are not going to move anywhere all the way up to where the, right behind the bead. Then what we're going to do is that we're going to wrap 
all the way back. And then wrap all the way forward. Okay, now we're going to get our copper wire. You probably only need about three or four inches of it. Now when you have your copper wire, what you want to do is to get the very tip of the copper wire and lay it on top of the hook just like what we did with the pheasant tail fibers. Now what we're, we're going to do is start making wraps right on top of the tip of the copper wire. Now you ensured that this copper wire isn't going to go anywhere. Now what we're going to do is going to start wrapping our thread all the way back where our pheasant tail fibers are. Then what we're going to do is that we're going to wrap all the way back right behind the bead. Now we're starting to make our body, but we're not quite done yet. So what we're going to do is to get our pheasant tail fibers. And what we're going to do, we're going to start making wraps around the hook or your base of your fly. Make sure you have all of your fibers nicely tight on the hook. Make sure that you're very careful with these fibers on not pulling too hard or you'll rip it or pulling too less and then it'll unwind. Now what we're going to do is that we're going to secure these fibers with only a couple wraps. So like about three wraps. One, two, three. That should be it. Okay, now what we're going to do is to, this is technically the fun part, we're going to get this copper wire, start making even wraps with the ribbing right on top of the pheasant tail. You want to make like about five wraps on top of the pheasant tail. Okay. Now you got to where you cut off your pheasant tail fibers and now what you're going to do you're going to cut off your copper wire right behind the bead. Okay, now we're going to make the hot spot of the fly. This really attracts the fish, this part. You're just going to make some extra wraps right behind the bead ensure that you have a really nice hot spot. Then we're going to get our whip finisher and we'll finish f five wraps right behind the bead. So one, two, three, four, five. And there you have it. You're a very effective Frenchie pattern. The Frenchie is one of my favorite flies because it's very simple to tie and the fish just love eating it. I like to use the Frenchie on a single rig or a double rig bottom or top fly. The Frenchie imitates so many varieties of nymphs when it's in the water. With a solid drift and your flies in the right zone, this fly is very effective. I hope the Frenchie pattern will bring you tight lines the next time you're on the stream. Thank you for watching and supporting Having the Fly. Please share this video if it can help another beginner fly tire. If you like our content, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button to be notified when the next video posts.